All right, in this tutorial, we're going to download our starter theme and start getting it ready for local development. So what you want to do is go to underscores.me. Uh, I'm going to go to the advanced options here. I'm going to call this theme MDL Press. MDL Press, Brad Williams, braginteractive.com, MDL, WordPress theme and right here be sure to sassify it because we're going to be using sass in this so let's generate that file here wait for it to download alright I download it to my desktop here now I'm going to unzip it and then I have MAMP set up to a local directory development WordPress development content themes I'm just going to throw that new theme files into there perfect and then I'm gonna do this all in terminal it's kinda more advanced like I mentioned in the first video so if this is too advanced for you you may want to check out bootstrap WP and I break it down a little bit a little bit less so it's not as advanced but if you can follow along please do so so I'm gonna CD into this directory right there so now I'm into the directory and I'm gonna do npm init to create a package.json file and I'm just gonna hit enter to kinda of do just do some default things here yes alright that created it for us I'm gonna open this theme directory in sublime text and you can see here that we just created this uh, package.json file and it has just a lot of default values you can go in here and you know either take some things out we don't necessarily need these things here do the author I could have put these in as, as, as I was creating it but I didn't description material design light wordpress theme alright let's save that looks good so I have a package JSON file and also a gold file that I, I use in all of my themes pretty much so far it kinda I kinda edit it as I need to add new features or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab that file so I'm gonna go into this theme and see here that I have a package and JSON so let's go to the package.json you can see I have a lot of gold dependencies here so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this grab the dev dependencies and in my package.json add those perfect now I got that saved I'm gonna go back to my terminal I'm gonna do npm install and what that's gonna do is just install all these dependencies so you can see it's running through here it's gonna create a, a directory over here called uh, npm modules or something I think we'll see in a minute as it creates it So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and also grab my gulp file. So gulp file.js raw command A to grab it all. I'm going to copy it. Go back to Sublime. Paste that in there. File save. I want to save it as gulp file.js. I'll keep this open. So if you want to look over some of my previous themes, these two are kind of similar to what we're building. This is a Material Light WordPress theme, and this is a Material Design uh, based off Bootstrap. So something to look through if you if you're interested. Let's see how we're where we are. Still uploading all the modules here. So another thing we can do while that's waiting. Uh, we can't do that right now so this is again used in my other theme I'm gonna rename this MDL press so you can see here that in this goal file if you're not familiar with gulp it just does a lot of different tasks for me so for instance this zip task will go through all the all these files and zip it up for me 
so it's ready to you know upload to FTP or whatever to your live site. Got a Bower task to install Bower. We'll do that in a second. JS hint it goes through and does a little linting. Um, this concatenates all our JS files into one, so we don't have all these calls in our header or footer file of our WordPress site. We have the SAS task here that you know does all minification, auto prefixing for our SAS files, images goes through and uh, tries to optimize them a little bit and then that's just our default watch task we'll look at any of these files the JS SAS images or any PHP files and if anything that changes it'll run these other tasks for us so it's pretty neat and we'll see it in action here pretty soon so it looks like we got it all installed if you look here we have this node modules file and that's all of our dependencies our node dependencies that we'll need to use in our GOAT file and everything else. So we're pretty good there. Now that that's done, we can do Bower init. And this is what we're going to use to pull in Material Design Lite. So again, you can just kind of go through yada, 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 add whatever you want. So I just hit enter a ton of times and you can see here that it created this file here for us. So you can go here and make any changes that you want. But now I'm going to go to MDL or get MDL IO and getting started. Bower. You can see here that it gives us this command here. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to do dash dash, uh, I think it's dash dash dev dash save, save dash dev. That's what I'm looking for. Save dash dev. If I can spell. Alright, so that's going to install Material Design Light for us. And Bower's cool if you haven't used it before because it creates this directory for us and you can see here that it it added material design light for us. So now anytime material light or material design light gets updated, we can just go up in here in our in our terminal and run a little command and update it to the latest version without having to actually go out to material design light, download the latest files, unzip them, put them in our theme directory, yada yada yada. So it just saves a lot of time. So now that we have everything that we need to get going, I'm going to end this video here. In the next video, we'll start adding material to light, material design light. I just need to start calling it MDL. We're going to start adding MDL into our theme. So stay tuned.